Hey there, this is Dutch, and we are playing Black Mesa. Now, for those of you who don't know, I'm going to be very quick here. Uh, Black Mesa is a mod for the Source engine, which is the engine that uh, mostly the Half-Life games are played on, um, or are made on, as well as a bunch of other Valve games like Left 4 Dead. And there's many more games that run on the Source engine. Uh, basically, it is a remake of the original Half-Life, um, and yeah, it just came out today, a couple of hours ago, and I just got it installed, and we're going to play it. Um, this is going to be a blind playthrough, obviously, as it just came out. However, I have played the original game, so um, it should all be fine. Now, I should note that the... Uh, Black Mesa mod is not complete yet. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with the original Half-Life game, this will only go up to the um, Lambda Core chapter, which is basically uh, pretty far into the game. Only the last part of the game uh, hasn't been included. So, um, yeah, that will be released at a later time. They're still working on that. Um, I will admit I have not played the original Half-Life all the way through, but I have played most of it, so should be no problem uh, up until we get into the later parts of the game, and even then I, I should be able to find my way. And yeah, on that note, we're going to start this out. Um, yeah, Black Mesa Inbound, start new game. Ah, the infamous loading screen. <laughs> Guess that's just something of the Source engine, they always have loading screens in their games. Ooh, I just remember, um, I should put on closed captions. And I should change the audio levels. Okay. Put it on here. And, um, I will do dialogue only. Alright, so, uh, I hope you were able to hear me right then and there <laughs> when I was doing my intro. Though I don't think it will be a problem. Alright, yeah. We're in the tram. Or well, it's kind of a monorail kind of thingy. Ooh god, this this feels kinda Good morning and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit. Hey, where's my subtitles? Come on. Put on. This automated train huh. is provided for the security and convenience. Well, that kind of sucks. The research facility personnel. Guess I'll be quiet. The time is 8:40. Oh, there's Barney. <laughs> so yeah, um as you just heard, it's now 8:47 p.m., which is actually relevant because uh, this game is set in Black Mesa Research Facility, which uh, is located in New Mexico, according to the game lore. And the this mod was released at exactly that time, so 847 uh, New Mexico, that works out to about to um, yeah 1647 over here where I'm at in the Netherlands. Uh, but yeah, that's a nice little tidbit that they uh, released it at that time. Thought it was pretty cool, although um, yeah, there was some server difficulty, so yeah, it took most people a while to get the game. Uh, I'm sure there's some people who got it before me, but um, yeah, that's pretty fun. This train is inbound from level three dormitories to. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess most of what the uh, intercom is saying isn't very important. It's mostly just, uh, yeah, about where we're going, but it's not really relevant. Um, although, it, at least, it wasn't in the original game. I should probably note that... Uh, I've already missed some stuff along this railway, for those of you who are familiar with the game, but uh, I personally don't find that very important. Uh, for those of you who know what I'm talking about, well, you'll know what I mean. For those of you who don't know, don't even 
think about it, because I'm sure we'll get to that at a later time. This is new. Didn't have this in the original game. I think. Now you just went above this ravine, I think. They have taken some liberties with this uh, mod. Although I could be wrong right now, because I haven't played in a while. Uh, meaning uh, that it has been a while since I've last played through the game, which I only did once anyway, and not completely, as I said before. Uh, but yeah, some of the level designs have changed. Uh, some people were mad about that. I don't really mind, personally. It's a mod, after all. You know, y you can't expect everything to be exactly the same. I mean, and if it makes the game better, then, you know, why not? Uh, oh yeah, this is the part where we go above the ravine. So maybe that part wasn't the original game. I don't know. Could be a Apache right there, yeah. Electrified rails, no? <laughs> uh, the intercom's pretty funny, it also... It's something about, uh... I don't even know. Something about a business competition or something is in there somewhere. Uh, I'm not even sure. I think we're almost... Oh yeah, this door is gonna be pretty cool, I think. Let's see, is there anyone there? Oh yeah. You know, I really like this attention to detail, because that definitely wasn't in the original game. This was just a door that opened automatically. And now there's actually a security guy. Let's look how that extends, yeah. Yep, very reminiscent of the original game. Uh, a bit less square on the overall. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. I can... I can understand why this took such a long time to uh, get it released, because I think this mod has been in development since 2008. I want to say 2008. Could have been even before that, 2007. But yeah, it's been a while. Suffice to say. And there's another one of those doors. So yeah, Gordon Freeman is our titular character. Or well, not 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 titular, he's not called Black Mesa, but uh, yeah, education, PhD, MIT, theoretical physics, position, research associate, associate. Uh, if you want, I'll probably post a link in the description. There's a uh, Assignment Anomalous Materials Laboratory, yeah. There's also a uh, letter that was written to Gordon Freeman, which is basically just a picture. Um, it was also released by Valve officially, clearance level 3, which contains a bit more information about his assignment to Black Mesa and stuff like that. It's something outside of the game, but it's part of the lore. Uh, so yeah. Disaster response priority discretionary. I think this is talking about the. Oh yeah, if we <laughs> run into any problems, I remember this thing used to look really robust in the original game, but looks pretty refined now. Yep. I wonder what the upcoming room is gonna look like, because if I remember right. Should be fun. Um, yeah. I'm a big fan of the Half-Life series. Um, I wasn't really there when Half-Life 1 first got released, so I never really got to experience it in full. I mean, the only time I ever played it was when it was already outdated. The same goes for Half-Life 2, and, well, basically, I didn't play that until, like, a couple of years after it got released, but... When I did, I really fell in love with it. It's just, Half-Life 2 was one of those... Oh yeah, this is the room I was talking about. The toxic waste. That looks pretty good to me. But uh, yeah, Half-Life 2? Oh look. And there's what I was talking about earlier. We shall be referring to that guy with the suit over there to as the G-Man. And he's gonna show up through a couple of places in this game. Oh, that looks really cool. 
<laughs> kind of like a cartoonish uh, envisioning of what toxic waste would have to look like. And looks like we've reached the end of the line here. Yep, we're slowing down. <laughs> no epic sound effects. Oh well. Come on, security, get me out of here. Oh, loading. Okay, I, uh, <laughs> I hope that's not going to be happening too much. Uh, I guess this is going to look through a large area, so it's kind of to be expected. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Oh, look, we have subtitles. Looks like you're running late. Yeah, I am running late. It's uh, been past 8.47. We know that for sure. <laughs> I wonder what time he had to start. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Barney's been scarce about these parts. Yes, his bar must have <laughs> uh, I like how they added in that dialogue. Uh, for those of you that have played Half-Life 2, uh, Barney is basically one of the security guards here. Uh, he's not really significant in this game. In fact, he wasn't even in the original Half-Life. Uh, it was only in the expansions that he was added. Uh, but yeah, he's a friend of Gordon Freeman. Oh man, you cut the ponytail. <laughs> you cut the ponytail, okay, so apparently Gordon Freeman used to have a ponytail. <laughs> uh, I love that. Cause yeah, people were whining about dialogue stuff. Say hi to Dr. Cross. Dr. Cross. Okay, I guess they gave everyone a name. I wonder if we'll be running into some more of the hey, Half-Life Two people. We had a system crash about twenty know, minutes ago. Twenty minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find. This was actually in one of the trailers for Black Mesa. Yes. Only this guy looked like Gordon Freeman. <laughs> problems down in the test chamber too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got Yeah, our hazard suit. We're gonna have to get into that, because we can't do any ass-kicking uh, without it. Spoilers, we're gonna be kicking ass in this Let's Play. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Oh, right. We have to do the test. Okay, um... Basically, we have to go get our suit now. Dr. Freeman. Dr. Freeman. Yes, I'm Dr. Freeman. Supposed to be in the test chamber. Oh yeah, so it was about 8.30 that I had to be there. Alright, uh, apparently it will also tell me if I can't use stuff. Let's just put that back on dialogue only, actually, because um, it didn't work. I thought it didn't work, but uh, here it is. Yeah. Kind of silly that they didn't include uh, subtitles for the intercom, but whatever, I can deal with it. Uh, can we sprint? Good morning, Dr. Freeman. Hello. Uh, is this... Those no. Um. Worse. Yeah. I wonder if they oh, would you look at that? add up Gordon those. Yeah, I did show up. Looks like somebody here. <laughs> oh come on! Uh, I love that. They made this place come alive. All right. That's good to know. So yeah, this isn't really very explicitly stated, but. Basically, we... Big day today, eh, well, Freeman? they actually just told me, but yeah, we have a test to run this morning. I'm rather busy, <laughs> You're rather busy sitting on that bench? Alright, I'll just leave you to it. Uh, ooh, better watch out. <laughs> oh, look, there's Mr. G-Man once again. And... Dr. Judith? Hmm. That's interesting. Um, if you haven't ever played any games in the Half-Life series, you're probably not going to know what I'm talking about right now. Um, but yeah. There weren't any named characters in this game, as far as I know. Uh, but yeah, in Half-Life 2, they added a lot of named characters, and they all have their roots back here in Black Mesa, so... I'm expecting them to add a lot of reference to those characters, which they already have. Um, the name you heard just now, Judith, that's actually most likely a reference to a character in Half-Life 2. I don't know about that, Dr. Truman. Seems to me that he's just spouting buzzwords in his research papers that he picked up in perusing <laughs> popular scientific periods. Uh, okay, they did a really good job in this. I think people are going to be pleasantly surprised, especially the naysayers. Uh, but we'll see in the 
Well, probably tomorrow already. Got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know oh, I can't let you through here. That's right. Uh, <laughs> actually, can go to the wrong airlock. Okay, we need to take the other way back in that uh, weird room. Good thing. Uh, here, we need to go the other direction. Yeah, here's that control room, alright. Yeah, we're just gonna take our time here, I'm in no rush. Um, I hope you're not... wait. Most what the... the results were perfectly acceptable, you know? Um, <laughs> okay, well there goes my bold claim that we wouldn't have any trouble. Oh yeah, I have to go over here. That's it. Actually, yeah, I know we want to go over here, definitely. Let's see. Hello. Another day, another dollar. Okay, we. <laughs> uh, come on, please. <laughs> oh, dandy. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, achievement unlocked. You think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? Oh yeah, I, I can fix the vending machine. Oh, we can't pick that up. Let's <laughs> let's fix the vending machine. <laughs> oh, let's fix this one too. Oh, it's out of snacks. Are you kidding me? This thing's filled to the brim. Come on. Okay, okay, I'm leaving. I, get, I can get a hint. <laughs> this scene was actually referenced also in a uh, in Half-Life Episode 2. However, the character that's supposed to be here, I don't think that's him. So I guess they didn't include the actual characters in the game uh, that were supposed to have been here. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous... Ridiculous. Tacks? Yes, they are indeed ridiculous. Triple pleated khakis. Triple pleated cockies. Oh well. Let's go to our locker. Uh here we go. Freeman. Well look at that. I can't go oh yeah, okay, that is it. Well, looks like that's our MIT degree and a baby picture for some reason. I'm pretty sure Gordon Freeman doesn't have a kid, so oh, oh looks like he can pick stuff up. Oh, this'll be useful later, so let's just leave that in here. Now we can't close it, alright. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have lots of fun with this. Yeah, this is one of the things that... <laughs> this guy just keeps complaining. Oh, uh, God. Um, is there anywhere else we could have gone? I don't wanna... I, I want to be kind of complete with this. Um, I'm not going to be fucking around uh, in the rest of the game as much. Oh yeah, that's where we need to go later. Um, this is basically the only area in which you can actually do any loafing around. Um, so yeah, apologies if it's a bit slow, but once we actually get to the ass-kicking part, it won't be so mellow. I can assure you. And there's our HEV suit, as it is most lovingly called and he puts that on very quickly I wanna know how to do that alright let's see we should be getting some voices in our head now Oop, music um let's actually get the music volume down a bit too cuz I want you guys to be able to hear me yeah, that's much better. Hmm. Ah, I remember oh, my you're not complaining! Well, how nice. Right, let's get over here. Go the only direction we haven't gone to yet. Return to normal. What's going on? Can we get in here? Yeah, let's see. Oh, sorry. I can't be bothered. Well, gee, right now. everyone seems to know who I am, despite having just started my job here. Well, not me, but Gordon. Uh. Ooh. That's nice. Huh. <laughs> like I said, lots of attention to detail. 
No, 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 he actually is busy, or at least he looks busy. He's actually walking, not sitting on a bench. Go right on through, sir. I think I will. If you open the door, thank you. Looks like in the in barrel. The today. Oh, goody. <laughs> I'm in the barrel today. All right. Safety. You have no idea what's going on. What? I think they're talking about today's test. All right. Ooh. Yes, I like this. Okay. This is the most fancy elevator ever. Just watch. No, you're kidding me. Ah, oh, they changed it. Oh, no, wait. No, I'm wrong. This is not the most fancy elevator ever. I'm sorry. That's later in the game. <laughs> oh, spoilers. We're going to have a fancy elevator. Shouldn't have told you that. <laughs> or as Hagrid would, say, would have said. Oh, uh, no. God, okay. I'm not going to even do that impersonation because I can't do it well. I shouldn't have said that. Okay, so I just did it. Did we catch that fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. Hello. Um, I get the feeling. We can yes, we can. Now, where did I leave uh, the shutdown procedure chart? I'm sure it'll hmm. show up sooner. Must be thinking of some other time. Oh, stupid door. I do think I'm gonna turn off this few bobbing because it's kind of annoying me. Um, disable view bob. Yeah, that'll do. Caution, laser! Well, definitely looks like a laser this time round. Okay, they're talking science. I'm not even gonna bother. Hello, security guard! <laughs> What's up, Doc? <laughs> Freaking Bugs Bunny. <laughs> okay, uh... More lasers. And our female... Co okay, actually... You should not be littering your workplace. Oh! <laughs> okay, that was pretty stupid. Okay, yes, let's put this in the... Okay, that was weird. Let's put this in the trash. Dope. Yes! Haha! -ha. A clean workplace is a happy workplace. Remember that, folks. Anyway... Control room. Yeah... Oh, uh, look at that. There you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent this the sample down to the test chamber. We've is a character from Half-Life 2. To so I guess they did add them. Gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test All right, chamber. all right. Right. Come ah, thank you, I Dr. Kleiner. Spoilers, his name is Dr. Kleiner. He's gonna be totally non-significant for the rest of this game. Eli. Has been Eli. Last that is also a Half-Life 2 character. Great oh, there he is. Eli. Morning, Izzy. Ah, I love this. Well. <laughs> Gordon. Good morning. I'm not gonna... Expand on these guys' roles in Half-Life 2, because I might be let's playing that in the future, so may as well not spoil it. What in the blazes is going on with our equipment? It was never going to do this in the first place. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along. All right, all right. If you say so. Okay, now this is the most awesome elevator in the world. <laughs> Just look at that. Alright, let's... Uh, where's the button? Here it is. <laughs> I love that. Just rotates. Uh, that, that must be disorientating. If it would have... By Becquerel's ghost! Becquerel. Yep, the father of radiation along with Marie Curie. I actually know some stuff about physics, believe it or not. Undergrad. <laughs> the view bobbing's still here, though. That's kind of... Yeah. I guess uh, this isn't classified as view bobbing for some reason. Oh, well. 
Hello. Oh, there you are. Hombre. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I am hombre. Oh, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard oh God. analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the well, well, that is a special occasion. Yet. And potentially, oh God, am I going to be in danger? Now, as long Give as it to me straight, Doc. Insertion procedures. All right, all right, if you say so. I don't know how you well. can say that. Although I will admit, ah, these guys, man. Stop scaring me. Unlikely. I just don't. Gordon feel doesn't need to hear all this. He's a Thank you. Professional. We've assured the administrator. All right. Uh, can you assure me as well? Yes, you're right, Gordon. We have All right, that's good to hear. Confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Yeah, you you go ahead and do that.